Construction workers trickle through this large hall, but in less than a year, it will flow with water. These workers are putting the finishing touches to one of the largest reservoirs ever built. Taking a step outside reveals the true scale of this $4.7 billion project. It's so big, engineers couldn't find cranes that could stretch the length of it. Each reservoir contains around 100 million gallons of water. We are in the th like third stage uh, construction of the reservoir itself and try to test the reservoir. With its current infrastructure, Qatar residents would be at risk of going thirsty if the water processing plants were not operating. A big issue for a population that's been growing in size. The country's terrain is arid desert, meaning there's no renewable water from rivers and lakes. Seawater is converted to drinking water through desalination plants. The five reservoirs will be connected to those plants, almost tripling the supply. Now this water pipe is two and a half metres in diameter. The water is pumped through here and sent to the world's largest water reservoirs. Now to give you an idea of the scale, take the largest water reservoirs from nine of the world's biggest cities. You can fit them all in there and still have room for a major sporting event. But is this project really sustainable? Some are concerned that the desalination process is energy intensive and environmentally damaging. However, engineers are confident it won't be a problem. Actually, it has a positive impact on the environment because what we are doing is we're reducing the overall pumping that's going on in the state of Calcite for water. Because what we're doing is we're moving the water to the place where the water is needed, where the demand is, rather than just having the water at the locations where it's generated. For this population and, you know, the booming having in Qatar, we have to keep water and storage of water for a long time. Up to now is the cheapest way for us. Yeah. We are using natural gas. Yeah. So this is a clean energy. An abundance of water in the desert is no longer just a pipe dream for Qatar's residents. These installations are built to last a century. Laura Burden Manley, Al Jazeera, Qatar.